Thanks a lot, Mike. I appreciate it. All right, time is now 7.50. I'm Kevin McCarthy with your top entertainment headlines. I have a movie here for adults for this coming weekend if you're looking for something fun to watch. Uh, a new film is called After We Collided. It's actually based on a best-selling worldwide book series. And I have to give my wife, Lauren, all the credit for alerting me to this series. It has a huge fan base, uh, and Lauren is such a massive fan, my wife. The After series was written by an author and the co-screenwriter of the film. Her name is actually Anna Todd. I believe we have some of the trailer for the movie. And it started actually as an online R-rated One Direction fan fiction. That's how this actually started. It was a very big, popular online series, similar to how Fifty Shades of Grey evolved from the Twilight fan fiction. The basic premise revolves around characters of Harden and Tessa, played by Hero Finds, Tiffin and Josephine Lankford, and their on and off relationship riddled with drama. Now, there's a line in the books and in the movie that really struck me. And you know when someone in your life says, I love you, and their person responds normally with the line, I love you too? Well, there's a line in the book that says, don't say too, it just sounds like you're agreeing with me. And I never really thought about that before. I always tell my wife I love her, and she tells me she loves me too. But it is kind of an agreement, right? So I spoke to the cast and the author about how that line was actually inspired by the author's grandmother, and it lives on now through the books and the movies. Take a look. I came up with that from my own life. My grandma, who I call her Mom Mall, um, she's mm -hmm. passed away now, but she used to say to me when we were young, like, never say two. It just sounds like you're agreeing. And if you love someone, you love them. You don't need to say two. So then mm -hmm. when I, even when I was a teenager and had, like, boyfriends for, like, two days or whatever it would be, <laughs> And they would be like, I love you. And I would never say two. So it's something that even my husband and I, I mean, we've been married 13 years now. We'd never say two. It's like a thing. So seeing it in the book and then seeing people actually like love that. And I was like, oh, my yeah. mom's like kind of legacy because she, not to be super depressing, but she passed away before any of this happened to me. So I'm like, it's kind of carrying it on. And then having it in the movie, in the first one, um, it was something I kept fighting for, like for them to say, I love you and it just didn't feel right or it didn't work out or other people didn't agree so then mm. when it came to the second one it was so important that it, I'm so happy with the scene and the way it turned out and yeah. it's like I hope there's so many people around the world now when someone says I love you too they're like don't say too <laughs> And so, it has changed the way I say I love you to my wife now. I mean, I'm not yeah, kidding you. It has that that much. when that scene happened, I looked over at Lauren on the couch. I'm like, that was a great line. And I, I never even thought about that perspective of it. So yeah, I think it's a really beautiful moment from the books, and and I'm glad that it's translated to screen because it's a it's a line that all of us wanted in there. I'm um, so that means so much that that you have taken that into into you know your own life, and you you obviously thought that it was it was so powerful and 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 you know like a, such a good point that you've taken it on board, and I think that's just testament to Anna's writing because as we know that was that was from the book, so uh, that's great to hear. You know, it's, it's crazy because, again, as, as I said, this started off as One Direction R-rated fan fiction online, uh, sold you know, millions and millions and millions of readers, became a first movie a couple years back called After, and now the sequel, After We Collided, hits theaters and VOD this Friday. The fan base for this is absolutely incredible. Again, very similar to the Fifty Shades fan base, because that's based on Twilight fan fiction, but we'll have more from the cast, including Anna Todd, and more coming up on Good Day, and again, the film releases this Friday. But again, I don't know if anybody out there has that realization, but I always say I love you too, back to my wife, and now I'm changed now. I, I, now I say I love you, and I, I wait a beat. Angie, do you say I love you too? I think everyone does. Yeah, or I say I love you more, and then oh. it turns into I love you more, and then it turns into blah, 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 infinity. And so, I mean, usually that's with my husband and my kids. It's just an ongoing thing. But I will say, you know, some are saying, hey, is this, um, is this, this show or this movie pointing to a trend of where cinema is going because the fact that it had little marketing, didn't have a budget, and pretty much in the UK, like, it was just as good as I think X-Men came close to 10. Huge. It right? made so much money worldwide, Angie, and now it's coming to the U.S. You're 100% right. It's these fan fiction elements that are really taking over cinema in certain elements and the Fifty Shades and the Twilights. This is that same audience, so it's huge. Might be the way to go. Yeah. Filmmaking. Thanks, Angie. Thanks. Still to come, testing the waters in a new relationship.